He is 99 years old Sunday. The Carter Center, founded by former President Jimmy Carter and his wife Rosalind, has monitored elections around the world for decades. And Mr. Carter had firsthand experience with election malfeasance, if we say. That's right. 11 Alive's Doug Richard shares that story tonight. Jimmy Carter's first election was a mid 20th century tale of how one corrupt man could try to change an election outcome if he thought nobody was watching. In 1962, Jimmy Carter was a small town businessman, farmer, and school board chairman. When a progressive Augusta Democrat named Carl Sanders decided to run for governor, Carter decided to run for the state Senate. But he ran afoul of the Democratic Party chairman in rural Quitman County. Joe Hurst had no qualms about manipulating the vote to favor Carter's opponent in the Democratic primary. The county boss stuffed the ballot box in favor of my opponent. 126 people voted alphabetically. About a third of them were either dead or in prison and were not qualified to vote, but they cast ballots anyway. Carter had heard about the illegal votes in Quitman County, filed a protest, and was ignored. So he talked to reporters in Atlanta who uncovered verifiable evidence of vote fraud. It was pretty flagrant that they the person who had voted just before the polls closed said, I was number 332 or something like this, and there were one or two people after me, and yet when they counted the ballots, there were over 420 of them. So, yeah. <laughs> A judge overturned the Senate election. Voters in Carter's district cast ballots again, and Carter won overwhelmingly, taking his seat in the state Senate in 1963, getting sworn in as Georgia governor eight years later. Joe Hurst, the county election boss, went to prison and died while Jimmy Carter was serving his term as Georgia's governor. At the Carter Center, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News.